everybody! This is my new colouring tutorial and today we're going to be speaking about blending solutions. So this is a way of um, blending your coloured pencils together that doesn't involve a blending pencil or just simply laying the colour on top of each other. So you can use loads of different blending solutions. The one I've got today is called Zest It. So it tends to be your blending solutions fall into two categories, solvents and non-solvents. So solvents are going to be things like white spirit, um, which are kind of intense to use inside and I really would, would not recommend them. They've got a really strong smell and it's not good for you. Something else you can use that's non-toxic is baby oil, which smells lovely. Um, and this zest, uh, I <laughs> stupidly thought this was made from oranges or some sort of citrus fruit and it was a bit like how you get hen or hair dye and that's made from vegetables. I thought zest it was like the fruit kind of colouring solution. It's not. I think they just put a little bit of orange scent in it. It does actually smell quite chemically so, you know, just trust me, it tastes, smells of oranges. Definitely don't taste it, um, but don't go sniffing it. And what I've bought is the Zestit sponge. So this is like a little tub with a wee sponge inside it and it has 5ml of the solution in it. And the idea is that you can take your blending stump, which is one of these, we'll speak about these more in a minute. These are essentially little co compressed cardboard cylinders that have a point like a pencil. And you sort of dip it in there and it picks up a little bit of the solvent and not too much. Um, so keep the lid on it when you're not using it. We're going to be colouring from my new book, Magical Jungle. And here is a little example of what I'll be doing. Here, and I'm using Statler colouring pencils, so pinks and purples and oranges. And I'm going to use the Ergo Soft pencils, and I've um, given them all a bit of a sharpen just with my battle sharpener in preparation. So that's all the kit that we're going to be using and I'll give you a quick demonstration and show you how I use a blending solution. So before we start off, get a blank sheet of paper and pop it underneath the sheet that you're working on. This just catches any indentation and also any transfer of black ink. These books are all printed on a really beautiful uncoated paper so you need to put a little um, sort of buffer layer in between there so you don't get transfer of black lines. If you do get transfer of black lines just get a clean eraser um, and just lift it off it comes off super easily. Right so let's get going. I'm going to colour first this little leaf up here. So I have my two shades of green and I'm just going to lay down the most colour nearest the sort of overlap. And then I'm going to put the lighter green in the second half, sort of halfway up. And then I'm going to leave the very tip white for now. Then I'm going to open up my blending solution. You're better to keep the lid on this when you're not using it because it will evaporate. And then this is my blending stuff. So this is a Statler one. I'm using purple on this end, so we go for this end. You just sort of poke it in there a bit like you do in the post office when they're sort of wetting a million envelopes or stamps and you'll see that it sort of sucks up a little bit of the solvent. And then use your stump just to move all that colour around and it, it sort of blends it and flattens it out. Now we're going to do this big flower. So this is a much bigger area. Let's do it. Let's do it orange. So I'm going to start off again by laying down colour harder and more dense around the outer edge and bringing it sort of softly into the middle.
Okay, that's all the colored pencil laid down. Now we're gonna grab the blend and stuff. And because we've used green on this end, I would not use that on this orangey bit. I'm gonna turn it over and use the end that I was using on this pinky purple bit earlier, just cause it's a more similar tone and it won't muddy this. We don't want to contaminate it with green. As you can see, it's just a really nice way to sort of flatten and blend those colours together. And it almost lifts it off towards the middle, I guess, so you can get a lighter tone. So there you go, it's a super easy way to blend your colour in pencils and I think it gives it a really nice flat look I guess. Um, and yeah, it just it, it makes a coloured pencil all blend really magically together without having to use your blending pencil. So now your colouring stop is going to be orange on one side and green on the other. So I'll just quickly show you how to clean that off. But first things first take your blending solution and re-lid it so that you're not sniffing in those orangey smells and all the chemicals. Then move your book to one side and grab. This is just um, a sheet of standard sandpaper that you get from like the DIY shop or the hardware store and it's quite a fine sandpaper. Grab your um, blending stump and I just sort of pull it towards me and sand off the area that I've been using and sort of put it back to a new point. I've seen people using a craft knife to do this and they literally just trim it down and whistle it like you would if you were sharpening a pencil with a knife but to be honest this works so much easier and you don't have to mess about with a blade. There you go, nice clean blending stamps ready to be used another day. I did try and for some reason sharpen this with my pencil sharpener, I think I wasn't really paying attention and um, it definitely doesn't work so don't do that. So there you go, this is your finished little flower and leaves. Um, all done using Zested Blending Solution. So if you want to give that a try, I just got mine on Amazon, but you can get them in loads of different um, retailers, both online and in the shops. And these are the bottles here. And definitely give it a go. I think I'm gonna try the baby oil next and see if the smell is a little bit nicer. To me, this is still a little bit chemically, but it is safe to use indoors. Just, you know, it is a chemical, so keep it away from pets and kids and, and don't do anything silly. So that's all for me today. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it's given you some inspiration for your own colouring. Don't forget to upload your masterpiece to my colouring gallery, my new colouring gallery, and share it with the world. Um, and that's all for now. Happy colouring!